Welcome back to my channel. Okay, I have to put my phone somewhere the dogs aren't gonna jump on it. Welcome back to my channel. It is another Boxy Charm unboxing video. Boxy, boxy, boxy. I keep asking myself why I keep getting these. This month, I am really asking myself that question. Seriously, I'm gonna try to balance this right up here. This could be a, a boxy disaster. It could be a boxy Hindenburg. Stay tuned. What do we have here? We have my base box, which I actually got weeks ago, and I am just now getting around to this. So let's open this base box up. I did get it first for once. What do we have in our base box? You've probably watched everyone's boxy unboxings, but this is my opinion. So even if you've seen everyone else's boxies, this is my boxy. We do things a little differently around here. And there are dogs being nosy. This is Miss Eliza. She is an Italian Greyhound. She is a rescue. Dogs may surprisingly appear in this video. <gasps> she wants to play. Okay, no, mommy's taping right. Mommy's, mommy's recording. This is a boxy charm recording. See? Yeah, yeah. Okay, boxy charm fantasy. What do we have this time? We have a pharmacy whipped greens oil foaming cleanser. Uh. Oil foaming cleanser, that's all you need to know. And it's pharmacy. So it's soap free. How does it clean? It's pH balanced formula infused with purifying moringa papaya and green clay. Helps clean pores and surface residue. Blah, 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 blah. MSRP $28. Here's the thing about me in pharmacy. This is the one brand that I want to love with all my heart and soul. I want to love them. Look at the side of this box everything it says on here. Paraben free, formaldehyde donor free, synthetic fragrance free, phthalate free, mineral oil free, cruelty free. And it's it's just a great brand. It's made in the United States. And Mawa, New Jersey, Pharmacy Beauties in Mawa, New Jersey. Do you know how close that is? I know someone who lived in Mawa, New Jersey. Holy crap. And it says packaging created using FSE certified paper from well-managed forests and inks based on naturally renewable raw materials. So it's all good stuff. This is eco-friendly. It's earth-friendly. It doesn't have a lot of chemicals. What's my problem with pharmacy? I hate their scent. I hate the way their stuff smells. I really can't stand it. I want to love pharmacy, but I'll try this. But every time I get something from pharmacy in my boxies, I can't. I can't with it. It smells, not in a good way. I just don't like their scents. I don't know what it is. It doesn't agree with me. Let me know in the comments if you use pharmacy, if you like it. I know a lot of people like it. I just don't like the scents in their stuff. It smells weird. It actually like, oh, I don't know. I, I just, I make really nasty faces when I'm using the moisturizers and stuff. I, I haven't found anything they make yet that I like the scent of. I will try this because I'll try it. I, I want to support this brand. I want to love this brand. They're, they seem like such a great brand, but the smell, the scent, I no. No, I'd rather have unscented than what this smells like. That's all I'm going to say, and I'm going to stop. Now this, Beauty Bakery, you might know from past videos, it's been a while since I've talked about them, I think it was maybe even last winter, but I love Beauty Bakery. I was down with Beauty Bakery last year before anybody, I mean, they, they just kind of started popping up everywhere, but I love this brand. For one thing, how cute is the packaging? And I have wanted to try this Better Not Bitter flower setting powder. I just love it. I have wanted this setting powder for a while, but I have so many setting powders, so I couldn't really justify buying it. And now I have it. I'm excited to try this though, once I kind of use up some of them that I have. I mean, how many setting powders do you need unless you're baking every day? Which I don't. I don't do baking on my face usually in my kitchen, but I'm bumps. I want to do a thing though. I have so much beauty bakery. I came up with the cutest idea, a little aside here. What makes my boxings undifferent? My asides and my going off on tangents, because hello, I'm like, ooh, a butterfly. My mind is always going 50 different directions, but I keep talking about my new kitchen, which I know you're dying to see. I am going to do a look in my new kitchen with all my beauty bakery makeup, and we're gonna make cookies at the same time. I have been wanting to do that for so long. I think it'll be so cute to do 
like I think I want to do a thing in my kitchen with like the red velvet palette from Glam Light. I want to make red velvet cupcakes and do a makeup look with my red velvet palette while we're waiting for them to bake. Would you like that? Do you want me to do that? Because I think it sounds like fun and I love to bake. And I have a new stove and my kitchen is just about done. It's so close. There have been some debacles that I can't wait to share with you. I do want to do Beauty Bakery in my kitchen and Glam Light in my kitchen and the little cupcaking and things, baking themed makeups with a kitchen look and baking something that goes along with it. I think that'll be fun. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do that, but you know what? I'm going to do it anyway, but let me know if you're excited about it. So I am excited about this. I have wanted that for a while and it is MSRP $24. I couldn't really justify another powder, but this box is the base box. It's $25. So basically I just got this for free or whatever, you know, like this box is basically the cost of this one thing. Mud Masky Vitamin Infused Eye Serum. We've been getting a lot of Mud Maskies. This is in us, uh, Netherlands, Netherlands brand. Why did I almost say Australia? Netherlands. It's a good brand. I'm liking the things I've used and it has a little orange on the front, Vitamin Infused Eye Serum. I wonder if it smells like orangey. I'm not going to open it yet because I'm trying to finish up a couple of eye serums. The MSRP on this is $63. $63. I'm going to use it because you know I'm going to use a bougie $63 eye serum that I would never pay $63 for. It just says it has a blend of all natural vitamin C, superfood ingredient, essential for firming skin, refreshing and powerful antioxidant effect, ideal for all skin types. So yeah, it seems pretty cool. I did get a mud masky mud mask, mud masky mud masky mask, mud, 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 and I used it and I really liked it. And I'm not a fan of mud masks usually because I have, na I have normal skin. I don't have any oily spots, so I don't really use a lot of mud masks. But the one that I tried by them, I did really like it. So I will try that. I'm finishing up my 111 Skin uh, Black Diamond Eye Serum right now. So that is a lot, 63 for that. Reza Be Obsessed Sea Spray Vacation in the Bottle. This is pink Himalayan sea salt, Hawaiian black lava sea salt. Defines natural looking beachy waves, doesn't weigh your hair down, provides texture and body while adding volume and fullness. It doesn't dry out your hair or leave a residue. I will be the judge of that. The MSRP is 20. Smells really good. So if you have seen my videos before and in my favorite things and in one of my box, we got a leave-in conditioner by this brand that I am obsessed with to the point where I've used almost about a little over a half a bottle already. And on the boxy pop-up, I bought another bottle of their leave-in conditioner. I have fine hair and it works great. It doesn't weigh it down at all. And when they say, okay, it doesn't weigh it down, I'll be the judge of that. I am going to use this. I am going to test it. I'll let you know when I do my hair and I do a scrunchie look. This came right in time because I've been looking for something to do scrunchy curls because I have wavy hair when it's wet. I get out of the shower, it's kind of wavy. So I have been wanting to find something. I was using the Not Your Mother's brand that I got at Ulta. I talked about it in an Ulta haul. I don't like it. It's It smells all coconutty and beachy and that's cute and everything, but I, I don't really, I don't love the smell. Also, it seems to make my hair feel greasy or weighed down and that's not good when you have fine hair. Am I right? So yeah, I'm not loving the Not Your Mother's beach spray waves thing. Thankfully, I bought the little tiny bottle, the little starter bottle. So I don't have a big bottle of it I'm stuck with. It's a little bottle. Maybe I'll give it to someone or something. But I've tried using it at least four times, and it is definitely that. Every time I use it, my hair feels, it doesn't feel like scrunchy and beachy in a good way. It feels dirty and kind of gross. I don't know. I think it's just my hair texture. So if you have fine hair, that might not be for you. If you do, use that and you have fine hair and let me know if it works for you but for me it didn't last we have the beauty vault with an e on the end erupt lip set it has a liquid matte lipstick and a lip liner to create a full luscious lip look the msrp is 1850 i will say right now i love this shade and i can't wait to try it i am going to make a confession though i swatched this on the back of my hand recently i kind of peeked in here and i saw this and i swatched it i I'm not being sneaky about it. Actually, what happened was I recorded a whole boxy unboxing yesterday. And again, I tried using my DSLR camera. I'm back to my GoPro now. I used my DSLR. It cut off half of my boxy review. So I still have like half of it, but I, I'm, I don't want to use two different cameras and whatever. So I'm doing this all over again. But I did swatch this and I must have washed my hand like seven times. This did not come off. 
Once this is dry, this will not transfer. I dare say you could put this on and wear a mask all day and have it not come off. I was shocked how I could not get this off my hand. I washed my hands over and over. I was rubbing it. I could not get this stuff to come off. So I'm excited to try this. I'm going to wear test this when I do a waterproof makeup wear test look. So yeah. And because I've recorded this before, I do kind of know that the value of this box, give or take $2, is around $150. I forgot what it is exactly, but it's around $150 for $25 boxy. Not bad. And now the main event. Da, 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 da. Everybody knows about it. Everybody's seen it. I maybe have a different take on this box than most people. Now, I am excited for everyone who has not tried Anastasia, who is very excited about this Boxy Premium Norvina Anastasia Takeover. For me, not so much. I bought a lot of ABH last year, last summer, last fall. I got kind of into the brand and I was really into it. But then I just kind of discovered all these indie brands I like. So ABH is, is good. I mean, the quality is there. It's a very professional quality brand. Norvina stuff is really great, but it's not totally my cup of tea. And you would think it would be the colors and the pigments, but not 100% my cup of tea. But let's go over this anyway, and I will tell you why. I'm going to pull this up first. The Loose Setting Powder, MSRP $38. This is almost like a $200 box, too. This is a lot. The MSRP on this is $38. I'm not paying $38 for any setting powder, especially not a Norvina. Maybe an indie brand that's phenomenal. I don't hate this. I'll try it. Uh, it's a lightweight loose powder. I've heard a lot of good things about it. A lot of people really like it. I will try this, but I just got a powder in the base box. So is it just me or it's like, how many powders do we need? You got a powder in the base box and you got this powder. And I'm going to choose the Beauty Bakery over this because I've been wanting to try the Beauty Bakery. So this is going to be on the on the shelf for a little bit until I use up some other powders, which is going to be a while. Next, something else I don't use, Clear Brow Gel, $22. Not even going to open it. I have no eyebrows. I have no eyebrows. I have no use for brow waxes, brow gels, soap brows. If you have no eyebrows, you don't need this. So... If I come across someone who has eyebrows in need of some clear eyebrow gel and to hold their brows in place for a clean polished look that lasts, I will definitely give them this. Ooh, but I can't use it. I don't need it. I'm not going to open it. I already know I'm not going to open this and I'm not going to use it. This is the theme of this Anastasia Boxy Premium, unfortunately. I saw Manny MUA's unboxing of this. I cheated this month. I watched his. I tried not to watch the base box, and I think he got different things than I did, but I did watch him open this, and he swatched it. And this is the lipstick that came in here. It's a liquid lipstick. It's called Malt, and it is a dark, dark brown. I do not wear dark brown lipstick. I, I, mm, it doesn't look right on me. It looks weird. I can wear green. I can wear yellow. I can wear orange. I can wear purple. I can wear black. I can wear any crazy color lipstick, dark browns. I don't like the way they look on me. I, it looks like I, like those little kids that smudge chocolate all over their faces. Somehow, some people look gorgeous with brown lipstick. I look like Augustus Glute. So that's all I'm saying. So yeah, that's going to be gifted to someone or given to someone who could maybe use it. ABH Waterproof Cream Color. This is a shadow or liner application. It's a little pot and it's waterproof. And the MSRP is $18 of this. Oh, the lip liquid lipstick was $20. Did I say that? Anyway, this is this little pot of waterproof liquid, like a little gel kind of formula thing and it says it's waterproof I am going to try this I love the jar that it's in this clear jar and it looks like there's nothing in there but there is it's kind of cool so I do like this and I will try this I love me a black eyeliner you can take the girl out of Detroit but you can't take Detroit out of the girl I like my goth black eyeliner like it used to wear back in the day in Detroit MSRP 18 MSRP on the lash brag volumizing mascara is 25 I did also watch Manny with this. I believe this is an hourglass kind of shaped wand. I'm not that thrilled about this. I'm probably going to gift this as well. Uh, like most of this box, I can't use any of it. The lip, can't use. Don't wear that color. Brow, can't use. Have no brows. Powder, I will use, but I'd rather use the Beauty Bakery. And I have too many mascaras. I've seen this wand online and I know it won't work for me. I don't like those kind of wands. I have very small eyes and when I use an hourglass wand, 
it's wide here and it's wide here and I smudge here and I smudge here like crazy with kind of hooded eyes and small eyes. And those hourglass wands are so big. They're too big for my tiny little eyes and they make a mess. So no. So that is a $25 mascara that may be in a giveaway box here on my channel in the future. Lastly, I wish I knew that I could have chosen the palette I was going to get. And yes, I know it's in here because I filmed this once already and it didn't work, so I'm filming it again. But this is the palette that everyone was excited about, the ABH collection number one, the volume one. And here's why I'm not even gonna open this and I'm not excited about it. They had a choice you could get this orange one with butterflies. I don't have that. If I would have known I had a choice, I would have gone and picked that one because look, I've had this since last year. <laughs> I'm going on a year that I've owned this palette. I'll open the one that I have because I don't want to open the new one because I am going to give that away in a giveaway. This is a $60 palette. You're going to want to watch for my giveaways because somebody is going to win this Norvina palette and the mascara, I'm sure. Possibly the brow gel. But this is what she looks like. She is a big ass, highly, highly pigmented pro palette. It's nice. I You could tell I haven't used it a lot. I've used the black. I've swatched some of these. I've used this, 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 this. Haven't used a lot in here. This is a very pigmented palette. It is not for the faint of heart. It is not for your everyday going out to run to the grocery store eye looks. What it means by a pro palette, it is very pigmented. Please, 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 if you got this in boxy and you're seeing this and you haven't used it yet, make sure you use a base. Make sure you use an eye base because this will stain your skin. It will stain your eyes. The other interesting thing about this, if you read it, is it gives you a whole list of all the colors that say they're not eye safe. And you're going, okay, why do I have a bunch of colors in an eyeshadow palette that are not eye safe? It's like an FDA approval thing. I did read up about this in the past. Like, why do they do that? Is everybody using this on their eyes? Of course they are. But legally, brands have to put that. If it's anything that's a certain pigment that may stain your eyes or has glitter in it or anything like that that might get in your eye. So just use caution with this. If you are going to do a big, crazy, heavy pigmented eye look with this, wear a really good eye base. I swatched this when I filmed this video previously. Thank you, camera that ate my video. I couldn't get the stainage off my hands. It stained my hands, it stained my arm. I wonder if it's gone. See this right there? There's a blue stain on my arm. I have taken a shower since I did that swatch yesterday and it's still there. Um, speaking of still there, I wanna show you this. This is the lip. It's still drying down a little bit. How I said it doesn't smudge, it doesn't go anywhere. I'm really excited to try it. Look at this. There's still a damp spot there, hold on. But look. We got nothing, people. We got nothing. That is not going to go anywhere. I can't wait to try this. So all in all, the ABH box, this was like a $35 premium box. And yeah, you got all this great ABH stuff in it, but there's two things that I can use, and I'm not even in a hurry to use either one of these because I have all of my Lethal Cosmetics new gel liners, and I have Melt gel liners, and some other ones that I'm trying to use. So I'm probably just going to stash these somewhere until I'm ready to use them. And the other four things in the box are going to be gifted or given away, and I might just keep this box. So I can send them to whoever is going to win a giveaway with this. Don't know when this is going to be. This might be my 500 sub giveaway is the ABH palette and the mascara and such. That's why I'm not opening that one. But this one is mine that I've had since last year. The other thing is I barely use this. I, I just, it's huge. It's crazy pigmented. I don't reach for it a lot. So is it cool to say I have the $60 ABH palette? Yes. But all the people excited to get this, Check back with me in about six months and let me know how much you used it. I'm just saying, maybe you love it. I mean, if you're into crazy colorful eye looks, maybe you love it. I love colorful eye looks, but I find myself reaching for like Glam Light and Menagerie, the Pastel Roses, which I'm obsessed with. I just don't reach for this one. And I, I don't know. I don't know why. I think it's because it's just not as workable too. These pigments are not as blendable. They're not as workable. Once you put them on there, they're 
they're there. And they're not buildable so much. They're they're highly pigmented. That's what a pro palette is. They're so highly pigmented that you need to know what you're doing and have a plan with this. Don't just start going in with the colors and, oh, let's see what's going to happen. No, you're going to have a, just a ton of colors on and it's difficult to blend and work with. So this is not as blendable. It's not as buildable, but it does give you, boom, pigment like crazy for days. Use your eye base. Trust me. <laughs> Don't ask. So here we go. That's everything. That's my review. Sorry to be like a little bit of a downer with the ABH Norvina thing, but for $35, I honestly, I would have skipped that box had I known what was all I was going to get in there. I would have said I don't want the premium this month. I'd rather have my $35 to buy more like Midas or Menagerie. Uh, I pretty much own everything Menagerie at this point. Lethal Cosmetics, OMFG. I would rather have taken that $35 that I spent on this premium boxy and thrown it at an indie brand. And you probably hear me say that a lot. I'm actually considering going down to just the base box again at the end of this year and not doing the full boxies anymore because I have so much stuff. <laughs> I have too much. I need like 50 faces to use up all the, the stuff I get. And that's another reason I'm like, hey, come to my channel, subscribe, giveaways. Speaking of, I just passed 460 subs. I'm trying to get to five, four, six, 360. Oh, wishful thinking. I'm trying to get to my 400 by the end of this week. I need 40 more subs because I want to do another giveaway next weekend. I like doing giveaways. Like I want to keep doing this like every month or less than a month. If we can get to my 400 by the end of the week, then I will do a 400 sub giveaway. I just did the Christmas in July giveaway. Congratulations again, Gail. The other giveaway I will have coming up is if you've been watching my progress, slow progress in talking about redoing my studio, tomorrow is going to be my first video that I'm going to be doing all my, bringing my palettes out. I'm gonna try to do a flat lay of all my palettes in my living room. And I'm probably gonna have to stand on a ladder and take an overhead photo. I'm going to have a contest to have my subs guess how many palettes I have. So come back for that. Please like, please subscribe. I'll have to come back for that. Comment below, tell me what you think of this ABH boxy thing and all that. Is it just me? Am I being like blah? I know it's it sounds so entitled too. I hate to sound like I'm like thankless about it, but I did spend $35 on that box. I would have liked to get something I can use now other than a powder and an eyeliner that I'll use maybe sometime in the next year, hopefully. I may end up just gifting that whole box. I'm not sure, I'll see how I feel about it. Once I do my powder declutter and my eyeliners and get those organized, I may just gift this whole box. Maybe the whole box will be a giveaway. I don't know, I have too much stuff. So come back for more, thanks for watching. Sorry I'm a little late on this boxy unboxing. I have to sit out in my living room right now and have a light out here because my studio is in shambles. I am making progress on it, but it's slow progress. It's a lot and I want to get it to where it's perfect and I don't have to do that again. <laughs> I'm trying to get it as organized as humanly possible the way I want it and what works for me and what looks great on camera so you can see what's going on and the lighting will be nice and all of that. So I want to get all that together and then I won't have to do it ever again because I don't want to do that again. But I'm liking the progress. I enjoy decluttering. I enjoy organizing. I enjoy organizing more than decluttering, I think. Decluttering can be a little stressful. Me and my two ABH palettes are going to go make some dinner. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye! Oh,